I try not to call attention to what is behind the curtain when making videos for YouTube. I find it unprofessional and unproductive. YouTube is an admittedly hostile but tolerable platform, though censorship is where I feel the need to speak up. A few keen-eyed viewers noticed that my video concerning how to neutralize coronavirus with UVC light has disappeared from YouTube. I received a notification about a day ago that said that the video had been removed because it violated YouTube's terms of service. I assume that I was just caught in the crossfire of YouTube's latest censorship policy concerning COVID-19 misinformation. Thing is, my video didn't have any misinformation. This is certifiable. Perhaps it was naive of me to think that I could speak the truth and that would be enough. In response, I carefully edited the video to include citations that the information I was giving was accurate, and I removed anything that by any stretch of the imagination of a human or poorly trained algorithm could be construed as offensive or misinformation. I left that upload unpublished for a few hours to make sure that it would jive with YouTube's algorithm this time. To be clear, I made that video out of a genuine care for people's well-being and not for profit. I don't monetize tragedies. Imagine my surprise when my politically correct version of the video was removed as well, on the grounds that it promotes violence or dangerous acts that have the inherent risk of serious physical harm or death. Now this is just absurd. Could it really be that in explaining how to safely use a UVC lamp, that those safety concerns are what makes it inherently risky? Did I not say in the video that these risks only occur if the user is totally irresponsible with the light? And did I also not say how to safely use it? Or was it just irresponsible of me to even mention the risks? Are my darn ethics getting in the way again? Yeah, if you start a fire, you might burn yourself. Is that grounds for censorship? My video was flagged and I lost the appeal. My politically correct version was flagged and I lost that appeal too. If I'm not allowed to recommend an off-the-shelf consumer product for verifiable scientific reasons, then what am I allowed to do? If I'm not allowed to demonstrate something that the Center for Disease Control encourages, then what am I allowed to do? I feel like I'm living through Kafka's The Trial, a story of a man who was arrested and prosecuted by a remote, inaccessible authority, with the nature of his crime revealed neither to him nor the reader. That's what makes this so frustrating. The more I try and understand what the problem is, the more I begin to realize that I live in a quagmire where logic doesn't exist. Why are the rules so inconsistent? How can I do everything right but still be wrong? I don't reasonably expect that anything will change, but this has made me realize something. If YouTube censors are flagging this video, then all of my past and future videos are at risk for the same reason. Me and countless other YouTubers make topics on chemistry, high voltage, lasers. If this content is too risky for YouTube, then I cannot remain on YouTube. Without a doubt, YouTube is the premier website for video sharing. I don't want to leave, but I think it's time that I explore other places to store my videos in addition to YouTube. More on that once I figure something out. I'm sorry to make a video exclusively for ranting, but I felt that this was important. For now, I'm just going to continue like nothing happened and just try and move on. Hopefully this will be the last of this baseless, frivolous censorship.